Okay, I'm back guys. This is part two. Sorry for the um, technological glitch. So I was just saying that, you know, your person does miss you. Um, we've got cards here regarding, you know, feeling uh, yearning for someone, okay? Someone who they feel is lost, okay? Um, so there's longing and nostalgia, all right? Um, but this person is prideful and they are being a bit self-destructive is what I'm getting from this card here, okay? Um, a cutting retort might be enough to restore our pride, but when we're hurt by those wielding power over us, revenge may take circuitous, circuitous roots. Okay, so um, there's anger in this person regarding what happened between the two of you but instead of wreaking revenge on you Scorpio I feel like they've turned it on themselves and they are acting in a self-destructive manner it'd be interesting to see um, if you put in the comments what your personal experience has been with this person so we can compare notes um, let's have a look at your advice Angels and Spirit, how should Scorpio, what, what's Scorpio's advice with this person in November 2020, please? What's Scorpio's advice in November 2020? Okay, here we go. Right, yeah, exactly what I said for you to do. You need to place strong boundaries. You need to know your worth. Um, practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So you don't need to explain yourself. Um, there's a lack of trust. I feel like you don't trust this person because they're not really inspiring your trust. They are the Knight of Wands, so they're in and out. And um, so you have your own doubts when it comes to this person. Um, so there's that. And you've got surrender to silence. So I feel like you just need to let this person um, figure it out on their own. Um, you don't need to say anything. Silence can heal and replenish. Right, so let's have a look at um, the, I forget the name of this deck. The um, something journey, hang on. The, sorry, the sacred traveler, oracle cards. This card just fell out in the flow. So that's kind of like the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like things are starting to move for you. Um, and the message on this card is everything is smooth sailing. That's the kind of attitude you need to take, that all is well, okay? Where is this connection going? Where is this connection going between Scorpio and their person of interest in November 2020? All right. Okay, so you have been waiting for change because we have transformation. You've got the Phoenix, which is your energy next to watching clouds. So there hasn't been a lot of action or momentum when it comes to this connection, but spirit wants you to stay focused, stay focused on your goals, stay, stay focused on your personal success, hold your vision, hold the course, because abundance is pouring into your life, okay? So you, there's a sense of birthday wishes being granted here, I must say. Uh, it's looking quite good for you in a general sense. Um, but I do want to have a little bit more of a look at where this is headed with this person. Okay, let's use this deck. 
Uh, by the end of November, what is going to happen between Scorpio and their person of interest? By the end of November, what can Scorpio expect in this connection, please? We've got Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so again, unfinished business. keeps making her appearance. Queen of Swords, the need for strong boundaries, okay, in order to get what you want. You've got the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So again, feeling stuck, um, not, not knowing how to bring about a resolution. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Not wanting to invest in something that isn't going to go anywhere, that isn't going to reap the rewards, that isn't going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. You've got the Three of Pentacles. Unless this person wants to come to the party, unless this person is willing to work with you, unless this person is willing to compromise and, um, as I said, come to the party and restore balance in this connection, justice in the reverse. Unless they want to fix things properly, I feel like um, nothing is going to be accomplished here. We have the Four of Pentacles. So both of you seem to be holding on to each other. Again, we have the Knight of Wands. So this person being a bit of a player, being inconsistent. Next to the Devil card. So toxic behavior really toxic behavior the devil next to the knight of wands but we do have the judgment card this time in the upright position next to the two of wands um there is a possible reconciliation here but you want to know this person's intentions you want to know what their plans are with the two of you their future plans um because two of wands talks about intentions and you want the truth you want to cut through the crap. You want some kind of breakthrough. Um, and we do have the Ace of Cups here. So there is a possible new beginning in love by the end of November. All right. So um, I'm just going to pull a Cupid card for you and then we'll end it there. But um, what did I do with them? Just bear with me. Um, no, I'm going to pull a card from the Animal Spirit deck. Scorpios need to know regarding love in the month of November 2020. What is the message for Scorpio? got stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve that is a really important message for you this month and you've got do a walking meditation each day for the next week all right there you go um the cupid cards i found them so let's get a message angels and spirit what is the message for Scorpio in November 2020, please. Scorpio, what is the message of Scorpio? Yeah, I'm getting that it is expect the unexpected. All right. Um, and do work on your success, creating something that you're passionate about. Okay, because this card is talking about the one with whom you'll share your fate seeks a lover who creates. So improve your life in every way and let that child within you play. So it says, risk taking a chance on your ability to create the kind of relationship that you want. Um, truth. 
Examine all motives with brutal honesty. Even if the tr truth hurts, admit it and work hard to accept its lesson. It says, tell the truth, but listen to when others tell the truth to you. The gift truth brings to those who care, the special trust that soulmates share. If one you love tells you a lie, give one more chance than say goodbye. Again, boundaries. Don't allow someone to, to continually tell you um, what you want to hear and then um, and be a, a pushover. What's that saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, you know? So, um, very interesting reading, Scorpio. I do hope it's helped you and do leave me feedback. I really appreciate it and it helps the channel. So thank you so much for your support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.